Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Tonight we're checking out a 2020 Ford Mustang at night. So this video focuses on the interior and exterior lighting of the vehicle. Check my channel for the full overview and test drive videos. Those are separate videos. So first, just want to point out that when I turn off all the lights, I still have an exterior light on. The, the, the rear of the vehicle is dark, but you do have these rather bright LED daytime running lights. And you may even mistake these as headlights in certain scenarios. So you definitely want to have the automatic function for your headlights on so you have all your lights on when you're driving. So now I have the parking lights on and the daytime running lights are still on, but also you have this amber light there at the bottom. The amber light also serves as a side marker as well as the daytime running lights here in the front. Here in the back, there's a red side marker and red tail lights. All powered by LEDs. The tag light powered by LEDs is pretty bright and it illuminates a little bit on the ground. So it kind of serves as a, an approach light. Now I have the low beams on and the turn signal. So the headlights are powered by LEDs and they're in a projector tube for your low and your high beams. Nice white light. And then you have an amber turn signal here in the front with an amber side marker, a turn signal marker there on the side mirror. The turn signal indicator there on the side mirror is visible from the front, side, and back. And the turn signal is a sequential animated turn signal. And it's very bright. It's blowing out the camera as far as the brightness. Now the hazards, the four-way flashers, don't have that sequential. It just has it on and off. When I turn the high beams on, it come, the light still comes out of the projector housing, so you can't really tell just by looking at the front of the vehicle that the high beams are on. It just refocuses that projector to a higher position. So here's a first person view. There's low beams and there's high beams. Low beams, high beams. Last but not least, as far as the exterior lighting, is the fog lights. So you notice they are in the inner portion of this amber light is your LED fog light. It's right in there. And it has a little lens. And hopefully this will be able to show you. You can see it's a little projector lens there on the fog light. So it's the same as the headlight basically, but not quite as focused, more flood and they are very bright. All the exterior lights are bright on this vehicle. So the cargo area here in the trunk uh, is illuminated by a single but very bright LED up in here. It's kind of in the center, kind of a little bit offset, but it's in the center. So it does a fairly decent job of illuminating. Um, so you can see I have stuff in here and if you have stuff in the way, it's going to cast a shadow on the other side of it. So you can see there's lots of shadows. So. Uh, move this around here. You can see that the light is affected basically by what's in the trunk But with any nothing in the trunk you do have a pretty good amount of illumination uh, because it's so bright and It's in the center It would be nice to have maybe one on each side or something like that, but I think this is pretty good it Has this pretty cool puddle light now. It's mostly just for looks. It's not as practical as far as a light shining on the ground. It does give you some kind of illumination here, but it projects on the underside of the mirror here and it illuminates a Mustang on the ground, which is awesome. So as you move the door, it will move that. So it's pretty neat. And as you close the door, it'll fade away. So it's pretty neat. Just a nice little touch, I think. 
Uh, I think it would be nice to go in the settings and be able to change that to, instead of a horse, maybe just a regular light, so it's a little bit more functional, but it's still pretty neat. So the inside of the door, you do have some illumination here around the handle, and then backlit buttons, door locks, power windows, side mirror adjustments are all backlit. And you can change the colors, which is really cool. I'll show you that when we get inside in a little bit. Mustang illuminated sill plate, which is awesome. Floorboard illumination, looking nice. Nice and bright, and you can change the color. Now it does have leather, black leather seats, and so it's gonna absorb a lot of light. But even, even with that, you can see pretty good. It does have two uh, lights in here. I don't know if they're LEDs or not, but it does a decent job of illuminating the inside, even though it's black. The back seats, unfortunately, is basically a black hole. There's no lights back there. Uh, so we're focused here on the front. Has pretty decent lighting here in the front. Okay, so I have the, uh, the door open and you can see the illumination a little bit here from these two lights and it doesn't look like these are leds um they just look like standard halogen type bulbs so if you put leds in here uh it might increase the brightness especially if you get brighter ones i guess okay so let's shut the door and now we have a little bit of spillover light from these parking lot lights uh, but you can see the backlit buttons here in the steering wheel. See some, the floorboard illumination should be visible since I have white shoes. That's nice. And it's, this is all uh, color. You can change the color, it's really cool. Steering wheel. It'd be pretty cool if the, uh, the horse on the steering wheel was uh, backlit illuminated, like the SRT Challengers and Hellcat Challengers. There's the dash, and basically the gauges are all a digital screen, so it's all illuminated nicely. Then you have these gauges. So the red, you can change those colors. And then there's the screen. You have some backlit buttons here. And you can see there's a little area. Let me turn on the night vision. So you can see there's this pocket right here where I have my cell phone that there's no illumination. It's just a dark spot. And then these cup holders have some really nice Tron looking illumination in them. Love that. And, um, and they also change the colors as well. The center armrest under there, the little pocket, does have a light in it. And you see I have hand sanitizer in there because without it you can't really tell the light because it's dark so with something in there you can actually see the light it is pretty bright on camera it's kind of a challenge sometimes now the glove compartment is well lit but it's not a led so it has like this yellowish tint to it or hue you see there on the passenger side the handle is illuminated and these lights, uh, you can turn them on independently above the rear view mirror. Um, you can see those. The visors have mirrors and lights in them. And they have, these are not LEDs. These are like yellowish colors. Okay, so let's start changing colors of the interior lights. So we push this little horse right here. And it pops up this menu system. Now we're gonna do the up and down arrows here on the steering wheel and until we get to my color. So you can see my color. Okay, primary color, secondary color, ambient light, and then create my color. Okay, so let's go to primary color and let's change that to red. All right, so now we have these gauges red. Let's change that to blue now we have them blue change them to orange kind of looks a little red there and so we'll, we'll stick with um, we'll stick with blue all right so now let's go to secondary color and then we'll go to red 
All right, secondary color, let's get out of this, is your gauges. So you have a, um, a red color there on the gauges. Now you can change the way the gauges look. So let's go back here, my color, secondary color. Let's go to blue. So you can see the, the little bar there at the bottom changed on the gauges. All right, so let's go to ambient light. So uh, let's go to ambient color. And right now is ice boot blue and that's the, okay, so this is the like the cup holders, the floorboard and the, um, there on the door. So let's go to white, let's change that to white. So now the floorboard, the handle and the cup holders are all white now instead of the, um, you know, ice blue or whatever it was. All right, so let's go back here and let's go to purple. All right, so now we have purple floorboard, handle, and cup holders. So you get the idea, you can change things, you can kind of customize it a little bit. Uh, it's not just one place to change, you can change it in all in different places, which is pretty neat. Also, here, the Mustang illumination on the, the, uh, the sill plate is also purple. So it's not just those other places, so it has that as well. Now it says create my color. So if you don't like the colors that are available in there, you can go in here and use these color wheels to create a color if you like. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so there's a first person view of the low beams on a wall. So you can see the cutoff line there. So you can see the cutoff, cutoff line and it goes up a lot. And they, these aren't the brightest headlights in the world, but they are pretty bright. 